Japan America Society of Hawaii and DBED is hosting the first ever Hawaii Japan Sister State and Sister City Summit at the end of the month. Joining us now are the summit co-chairs, Reina Kaneko and Sal Miwa. Welcome, guys. Hi, good morning, Annalisa. Good morning. good morning. Tell us about the summit. Why have it? So why have it? Okay, so the summit is um, being held July 27th and 28th. Uh, at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Coral Ballroom. And uh, this summit, uh, we hope to reinvigorate and reconnect with Japan. Um, the ties we have at, uh, with Japan were somewhat like paused, halted during the COVID-19 pandemic. So we're really using this opportunity to reconnect, um, talk about the future, uh, share best practices and ideas for a better future in Hawaii and Japan. Yeah, and as you guys were organizing this, what were some of the key topics that you wanted to really address? Uh, Hawaii has 31 sister uh, state and sister cities, uh, six states and uh, 25 well, actually, yes, 25 uh, cities. And out of that, um, six governor and vice, gov uh, vice governors are coming, and 15 mayors are coming, which is, uh, I think it was uh, very successful to be able to bring so many, uh, you know, governor, uh, government heads to this event. Yeah. And that's, uh, I think this is really uh, amazing that they are coming all the way from Japan to here just for that. Event. It's a really high level discussion also. Yes. And you're inviting the public and also corporations to take part because it's really about exchanges. Yes, yeah. that, that's correct. Mm -hmm. So besides the elected officials who will be able to meet with each other, um, we, are, we have leaders in um, the fields of energy, education, uh, tourism, um, cross-border commerce, and sustainable agriculture, all coming together uh, to talk again about best practices and ideas so that we can both uh, look forward to a great future. Okay, and why do you want regular folks to come? Because of course we understand the benefits of business people to kind of have these exchanges. What about regular folks? Well, you know, I, I want people to understand that Japan and Hawaii have a special relationship. It goes way back to 1800s uh, from the, the immigration. Over, over 200,000 Japanese came. So we have the almost DNA connection between Hawaii and Japan. Mm -hmm. And this is part of it as a sisters. Uh, relationship is very important to Hawaii, I think. Mm -hmm. The tie that binds is yes. the theme. Yes. 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 And we do have, actually, Billy V is uh, one of the FCs, right? He is. He's so our... the tie that binds us with you guys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell us how people can sign up or get involved. Uh, yes. So uh, you can go to our website, uh, jashawaii.org, and click on Summit. And uh, all the information is there, including how to register to attend the two day summit. We also have a fun closing reception um, on Friday evening that the community can buy tickets to. So just go to that website, everything is there. And uh, also a marketplace so you can promote some products as yes, well. Yes, we will have a marketplace, uh, Made in Hawaii products, as well as uh, Japan product services and cultural highlights in the marketplace. Sounds like a fun time. Thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. We'll have all that information online so you can sign up and looking forward to it. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.